Welcome back guys. I hope you all enjoyed this preview of our finished completion of Project Infinity. What a build it was. Lots of time spent on this case, but in the end, we got it done. We're very happy with it. I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of you for the support throughout the uh, video progress and leaving all your comments and thoughts down below. I just wanted to go over the build a bit, give you guys a bit more of an idea of what's happened with this build and what's actually inside of the case. Starting off with the specs, we have the Intel 6950X CPU. Now this CPU, a bit of background knowledge for you guys was the overclocking world record holder at PAX Australia in 2016. It achieved a clock speed of 5.744 gigahertz. We have the lovely Gigabyte X99 Design Air motherboard really setting the theme for this whole build. As you can see it is a blue and white color which is the whole design theme around this build but we'll get more onto that later. Crucial supplied us with some of their RAM sticks for the build. They suit very nicely. The nice subtle details of their logo and the all black design really completes the build. We have a Gigabyte GTX 1070 with the logo lighting up. I did put a white Intel backplate on top of it because the black was just too much for the build. So I added the white backplate on top of it just to sort of bring the whole build together and add a bit of white to the inside. We also have a crucial SSD which has our windows on there. We don't have anything else on the computer yet. We've only run a couple of tests with it. That's about it. But um, so far it's performing nice. It's doing its job nice and fast which is obviously what we want in a PC system. This whole project, of course, could not have been done without the help of Metarena. Metarena organized the whole project, so a big thank you to them. And of course, we have the whole project based on the Cooler Master Mastercase Maker 5 chassis. Now, I did leave a review on this, guys, so you can check out the review. I'll leave the link up the top somewhere for you guys. It's a really nice case designed to really 
focus on water cooling and cable management and bringing you a nice clean build, which is really catchy to the eye. From Cooler Master, we also have a Cooler Master power supply powering this whole system. And we also have some Cooler Master blue LED jet flow fans, keeping this beast nice and cool. The liquid cooling is from Bits Power. We have a 240 millimeter radiator cooling the CPU, keeping it nice and cold so we can achieve some really awesome clock speeds on the CPU. We do have some custom sleeved cables, blue and black, consistent with the theme, bringing it all together, keeping it nice and clean. Now this whole case design was put together to celebrate and represent Gigabyte's 30th anniversary. So I've made that nice and clear down the bottom with a nice clean PSU shroud to cover all of the cables and the PSU, keeping it nice and neat. The main focus here is the motherboard, which is a white and blue theme. I brought the design of the motherboard to the outside of the case because I really wanted this to be one of the main focal points of this build. So I've got the nice venting solution up the top, which I actually got from the design here on the inside of the motherboard. And I also got that design from this part of the motherboard as well, which is also located on the Intel backplate. All of these blue pieces here just represent all of the blue accents which are on the motherboard and I've also got a bit of scoring on some of the acrylic as well so a nice clean simple design which I felt really suited this case and the theme that we're actually trying to achieve so on the front of the case we did actually put a window in there so you can view the case from the front and look on the inside and see the fans glowing this is especially effective at night it gives a nice aesthetically pleasing feel to the build and just adds another element to the whole design of the case all of these these bits are made out of three millimeter thick acrylic. I just cut them out with a plastic jigsaw blade and then used a two part epoxy to stick them all on in place. My draining solution for this build is pretty straightforward. We have the valve system here. You simply undo the um, stop fitting, open the valve, let it drain out. You open one of the free ports up the top of the reservoir. That'll make the liquid drain out a lot faster. A nice simple solution really works. The whole open frame design that I've went for makes it a lot easier to maintain this build. Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I just wanted to say hi to you guys. Thank you all for the support. It'd mean a lot to me if you guys could leave a comment down below. Tell me what you like about this build or if you don't like it, that's fine. Leave a like on the video and even share it with your friends if you guys have spare time. Remember, we've got plenty more custom PCs on the channel, lots of DIY modding tutorials, water cooling tutorials, reviews, and much more, guys. So remember to check out more of those videos, and we'll see you guys in the next one.